Hey, what's going on guys? SN Surface here today with another video, and in this video I'm going to be going over uh, what the update is actually doing for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on the Xbox One. So today's February 8th, 2016, and um, you can, as you can see, your game Black Ops 3 just got a 7GB update, and so in this video I'm going to be going over what exactly is going on, so let's get started. Alright, so in the general gameplay, this fixed mainly the G slide, so um, it describes it as fixed an exploit that allowed players to move faster by sliding just before landing from a jump. So this was extremely OP in uh, UMG gameplay because people could get to the search uh, areas way quicker and it was just a very huge problem and I'm very glad that they uh, updated it because it started to get really annoying after a while. So another thing is in hardcore AI controlled score streaks will no longer count towards the kick limit. So that means the Cerberus, Talon, Wraith, Raps Drone, or GI unit will not be a uh, thing you can exploit. So another thing that I'm going to talk about is the fixed exploit where players were being awarded crypto keys when not participating in matches. So people were going into gun, gun game matches, excuse me, and they were using their controller and tying a rubber band, doing whatever, putting it on a side and getting free crypto keys for sitting in the game for 20 minutes. I don't know why you'd want to do that, I don't know why you wouldn't just play the game normally and get your crypto keys that way, it's way more fun. And plus, why would you want to ruin your perfectly good KD with uh, trying to get crypto keys when half the time you don't get shit from supply drops. So, also, another thing that was addressed was an issue where players were able to place turrets in underwater after using rejack. So, people were using their rejack, and um, they were able to place a turret underwater. And that basically was annoying as shit, because you go underwater, expect them to go around, flank maybe, and next thing you know, you just kill, get killed by a turret. So, another thing. Fix an issue in free-for-all. The mothership cannot be locked onto by launchers. So this is very annoying as a mothership user. Uh, I've only gotten it a couple times, but I haven't been able to post a video of it because I haven't captured it. So people like to fuck with you in this game. They like to use their launchers, take out all your score streaks, and that is one thing that I think should be completely changed. I think the wraps, I think the uh, GI unit, I think all of that stuff should be completely fixed to the point where we don't have to worry about some bullshit player on the other team who's barely ever played a game in his life taking it out with the XM53. Okay, let's get started on some other stuff. So, they adjusted the spawn logic for Lightning Strike to better match the blast radius. They adjusted spawn logic and TDM kill confirm to increase the chance of spawning with your team. And they added colorblind mode to options menu that supports different types of colorblindness due to retinopia, proteinopia, tritinopia, and they fixed the issue when hit markers moved off center when being damaged. So, let's get started on the combat record aspect of the game. So, players can now view other players' combat record by selecting the player and choosing view combat record from the player's details menu. So, this will um, make it so you can compare stats with your friends and see who's better, see who's the... Uh, OP player in your group of people and so let me go over the specialist now so we got the Outrider with the Sparrow it's increased ability to hit enemies so you've known that uh, using the Sparrow is kind of difficult at the start but once you get used to it it's extremely easy and we got the Nomad this is increased reject stand up speed so the reject uh, stand up speed is pretty slow and that just allows the players to completely demolish you off of your reject and it gives you um, a higher power so you're not already weak when you get up and another thing is the Prophet. So the Tempest is uh, used a lot, and it's kind of a difficult gun to use at the start, but um, they've made it so it has an increased ability to hit enemies, and so this will be way easier to use now, which I'm extremely happy about because that is actually an OP specialist. And then we got Reaper. So this was extremely controversial because people were using Reaper in games such as s and and the footstep volume was quieter. So people were taking advantage of that, and you couldn't hear their footsteps, even with awareness. So they made that, they equalized footstep audio volume to the same audibility of other specialists. Then we got the Spectre. They reduced leftover specialist power available if player died while activating the Ripper. Okay, let's get on to create a class, the most important part of this video. So for general aspects of the create a class, they fine tune rapid fire effectiveness across all weapons. So this means submachine guns, assault rifles, shotguns, snipers, sp 
special attachments, secondaries, whatever. But the main thing is going to be the submachine guns. So uh, they reduced sprint out speed and the BMP was fixed. Uh, they fixed the issue where the player would occasionally not show on the radar when firing and that was quite annoying because you couldn't tell if somebody was behind you or not. And we got assault rifles, they increased the aim down speed, uh, stability of the assault rifle, the ICR, and then the HVK-30. They increased the long distance damage range, the KN-44, they increased medium distance damage range, and the Shiva, they increased ADS, so aim down sight if nobody knows what that means, aim stability. The XR-2, they increased ADS aim stability and increased weird coil control. And now for the main thing, the Vesper. So they reduced recoil stability, they reduced hip fire accuracy, which is what they needed to do from the start. That gun is extremely overpowered and I hate people who use it, especially in UMG matches. It is way too overpowered and I'm so happy they finally nerfed it. So we have the Weevil. So they increased the medium distance damage range in hardcore mode, which is kind of important actually because you couldn't really get a kill. And shotguns, we have the Argus. Increased lethal damage range. I don't understand why you do that. That gun is already insane. And then uh, we got KRM-262, increased lethal damage range. We got light machine guns, all LMGs, increased aim down sight, steam stability. And then we got sniper rifles. So the Locust has an increased aim down sight, aim stability, and increased weapon switch speed. Okay, so for specials, we got brass knuckles, and they added a cool spark effect to brass knuckles taunt. And then for attachments, such as FMJ, they will no longer deal increased damage to the robot and safeguard, and they no longer ignore the armor provided to satellite, drone, carriers, and uplink. And the awareness perk, it reduced audible range bonus, so that's kind of nice. And then, uh, let's get on to the score streaks. So the Cerberus has been boosted a little bit. It's got more accuracy, more damage, more missile accuracy, and missile projectile speed. So that way you'll be able to get more kills with that. And the Hellstorm, it's got increased damage radius, which is extremely helpful because um, in my previous gameplays, I haven't really been able to get that many uh, kills with it. And I've always just been getting two kills, and it's so annoying. And then we got the Mothership, it's got increased health. The Raps Deploy Ship, increased health. Like I said before, it's always getting shot down. We got the Talon. Um, they fixed some Final Kill Cam glitch where it showed the Hellstorm vision. The GI Unit, it increased the GI Unit drop ship flares by two and increased health of drop ship. The Hater, it corrected an issue with the Hater where it no longer displayed enemies after the owner died. And that was extremely annoying. And yeah, honestly, that's going to be about it. Um, there's honestly not much other than the maps. They just fine-tune the uh, the audio and they fine-tune the, the beauty of the maps and the graphics. And um, Yeah, that's about it. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and actually learned something from this because a lot of people have been asking me what, uh, what new stuff has been coming with these updates. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.